Team Muscle Care wanted to share our top five cycling stretches to keep your muscles healthy and relaxed during the jack ride. To stretch effectively, we'd love for you to hold your posture for about 30 to 60 seconds minimum or until you feel that uh, stretch release. And um, holding it at a static or still posture is really important. Um, breathing deeply, really enjoying that stretch and letting that muscle relax. If you feel any pain or discomfort at all, especially a sharp pain, stop doing that stretch right away, move on to the next, and call your RMT or chiropractor, they'll be able to help you. Our first stretch is the scalene muscles. So they're just at the front part of the neck here. Um, it's very common as riders to hang that head down low and definitely holding onto those handlebars. We've got a lot of um, numbness through the arms. So what I'd like you to do is think about bringing your left ear to left shoulder and then tipping that chin up to the ceiling or up to the sky and holding nice and still, getting a stretch through the front part of your right side of your neck. Holding there again, 30 seconds to a minute or until you feel it release, and then always switching sides. It's your turn. We're gonna get into stretching our chest as well as through the bicep and the forearm as well. So as you know, a lot of gripping, a lot of breaking causes a ton of tension through these muscles. So what I'd like you to do is find a wall, placing your hand on that wall, nice spread, evenly spread fingers, and from here, we're going to straighten out that arm and really turn, looking over the opposite shoulder of what you're stretching. So holding here for, again, 30 seconds to a minute, really opening up through the chest and through the bicep. Feels really great. Remember to switch sides. So you'll be doing your left side next, and enjoy. It's one of the most important stretches for cyclists, and really for anybody in day-to-day -day living, especially somebody that sits a lot for their job, is our hip flexor stretch. So what we're gonna do is bring the right foot forward and left foot back. And we're gonna just start on our fingertips, getting into position, feeling nice and balanced. From here, what we're gonna do is coming up onto the forearm, reaching the left hand up to the sky, and then over to the right, getting into that so a little bit deeper. This is a really great stretch for opening up those hips, especially the quad insertion as well. Getting into the quad, the hip, and even a little bit through the back. Feels really great. Remember always to stretch evenly, so head on over to that other leg, and you'll feel great for your ride. Generally, after we've stretched our um, hip flexors, what I'd like to do is get into stretching those hamstrings. So what we're gonna do is just bringing our feet together in just a nice low crouch position. We're gonna very slowly open up the back of the legs. So just at your own pace, really opening up here through the leg, feeling that stretch. Again, keeping those hands either on the floor, toes, ankles, shins, whatever is comfortable for you so that you feel like you're getting a nice stretch through that hamstring is the best thing to do, keeping that head nice and relaxed here as well. So we get a nice stretch through the cervical spine as well as through the lower lumbar as well. This is a great stretch for cyclists. Oh, feels really good. It's your turn. Get ready, because those rolling hills are really going to give us some issues with our calves, for sure. So what I'd like you to do is to find a space, whether it's a wall or a railing, placing those hands up on the wall, stepping that left foot back. What I'd like you to do is push that heel into the ground and really walk through that knee, getting a really nice stretch. Maybe that right foot is just supporting you a little bit by stepping forward here, holding for 30 seconds or to a minute, really letting it relax. Another great thing to do is just to bend that knee a little bit and push the bum back. We're gonna get into that lower calf. So really beneficial here as well. Again, holding for 30 seconds or to a minute and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed our top five stretches for cyclists. We're looking forward to seeing you the day of the jack ride, May 28th. Please come and check us out at the Center for Fitness, Health and Performance tent where we'll be there to help you stretch even more post-race. Thank you so much and a very special thank you to the North Movement Studio and Anna Harris for having us here today.